the horoscope columns, like in Cosmo, I just remember being a kid and like- What does it say about my love life? <laughs> always, right? I feel like every girl fell in love with astrology because of that, right? Like we yeah, had to, it was like, like- Please be good, yeah. please be good. Like, does he have a crush on me? Yeah. Like, is it gonna work out? <laughs> Hey guys, Allie here, and I'm sitting down with supervising producer Miriam Mathis, and I'm gonna ask her some questions about post-production, and I'm also gonna do a bird chart reading for her. So you are a supervising producer. Yeah. So like, what do you do? So I work in post-production. This is my second season on the show. Okay. So I help oversee like all the episodes in post-production. Wow watching like all the footage, make sure everything's tracking across mm -hmm. all the episodes. You watch all of it. I try to. How much, how much is that? <laughs> how much footage is that? Oh my God, it's that? so much, I don't know. Cause we film a lot. You film three times a day and then right. there are these like massive parties. Yeah, I and know. so you guys get all of that footage and then to go through and like make it make sense. I know. That's quite a job. It's a, a labor of love from a lot yeah. of people to make yeah. the show. What was the first scene that you ever watched of me? It's also the first scene I ever watched on the show, period. No way. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So you and James went to Den Mother in Venice and you did like oh, yeah. the foot massages and the scalp massages. Yeah. The new moon is in Leo today, so this is like perfect to get spiritually recharged. Mm-hmm. Watching that scene, and I was like, "This is so funny! Like, what am I gonna like lose from this? I like love everything." <laughs> That's been like James. I like you better when you're not drinking. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like you better when you're not drinking. That is what you said. Okay, is this your first time having your birth chart read? It is. Okay, but this is what the sky was doing at the moment and location born. you were born. Yeah. Okay, cool. It can change by just a few minutes. Okay, we're gonna talk about your sun, your moon, and your rising. Okay. That's called your big three. So like the sun, your moon sign, and your rising sign tell you so much about yourself. So your Taurus sun, the sun is what we want. It's who we're becoming in this lifetime. Okay. But the moon, that's what we need. It's a non-negotiable, we need that. Um, and But then our rising sign, that's actually where you entered the world. And so you actually entered as a Virgo. So Virgo is the first energy you've ever met. It's the last energy you'll ever know. And so it's really a part of you. Can you tell me a little bit about Virgos? Because Absolutely. I've been told my whole life I'm a Taurus. Yep. So yeah, I don't know so what now that you're means. like, wait, what? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say both are earth signs. Think green, think plants, money. Green is my favorite color. I love this for you. Earth signs are just really all about building something. They're like about literally planting a seed and watering it and nurturing it. The sun is what we want, that moon is what we need, but that rising sign is how we go about getting it all. So it's what's really motivating you and taking you on this journey in this lifetime. So Virgo is ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication and storytelling. Not surprised again that you're like living in LA now and working in the entertainment industry mm -hmm. because Pisces rules things like movies and music and TV. You do have a need to leave that physical world a little bit, which your Virgo loves over here. It'll, you know, make the to-do list, it'll organize, it'll be productive, but then you have literally like a push and a pull because your moon is opposite your rising sign. Let's go to your sun. The moon is, you know, where we retreat a little bit and it's where we feel safe. It's like the mother planet. It's where we nurture ourselves. but the sun is where we feel happy and confident and proud. Okay, example, James and Lala both have this placement and a lot of celebrities do. They have Jupiter in their 10th house. And so Jupiter is literally like putting them on a stage, giving them a platform. Mm -hmm. Like they don't even have to try, they don't even have to do much. Like they're kind of just destined to be seen. And for you, you have Venus there. I think Lala might have that too. Venus is the planet of beauty and art and I've love. always wanted to be compared to Lala. So this is like <laughs> there you go. Great, great. And you're like a journalist with that Virgo rising. Oh my God, perfect. You're well, right where you need to be. Awesome, <laughs> thank you. Of course, that was so fun.